Hey, just Kia. Hey, Stacy B. Just Kia, listen. Girl, you was on Latoya Luckett's live yesterday. Mm. I'm like, man, just Kia is just getting blessings. They just raining down on you, child. Um, I saw you yesterday looking cute. Hey, Benjamin Chaser, Deja Monet, India Key, um, Lizzie B. Hey, Red Mix Curls. Kiani Amari, um, good afternoon. Yes, it's afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I am calling in, not calling in, doing my live from the Mayel headquarters. This is where I'm at today. And so I am glad you guys are joining me because we have a, <coughs> excuse me, that was a real cough. Uh, we have a wealth of knowledge to give you guys today. This eyelash, y'all, this is the same eyelash that was acting up yesterday. Listen, if this eyelash come off during this live, don't laugh at me, okay? Because nobody here has any glue. Um, so yeah, this eyelash is going to act right today. So we are doing a twist out, y'all, and I just posted on my page my what I did to my hair yesterday. I actually just washed my hair yesterday. And you know, it's a little cute. Just a little bit. Just a little cute, cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So I posted what I used on my hair. Uh, I used the rice water hair milk. Well, first I washed my hair with the rice water shampoo and the rosemary mint mask and the rice water mask. And then I used the rice water moisturizing hair milk and the palm and honey um, coil sculpting custard. I did that and then I sat under the dryer to let my hair dry because um, I didn't have enough time to let it air dry and it did not even fully dry. As y'all know, yesterday I did my lab and my hair was still a little damp in the roots area. But now it's completely dry, you guys. It's completely dry. And so this is the dry final look. And um, yeah, you know, I put a little edge gel. You know how to get my edges together, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, this is the final results. I whip my hair back and forth, okay? I whip my hair back and forth. Okay. Hold on, let me do a little spam for y'all. Hey, hold on. Spin this way. Hey girl. Hey girl, you cute cute. Hold on. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so when you use my L products, mm, you can spin around. You can touch the sky you can touch your toes you can stretch listen my L products you can do a whole lot of stuff okay and you can spin in your hair i mean in your chair and whip your hair okay we're gonna spin in our chair and whip our hair spin in our chair and whip our hair spin in the chair and whip our hair spin in the chair and whip our hair okay that's what we're gonna do today y'all you know has to get a little together, y'all. But you know. No, okay. Okay, let me stop playing with you guys. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're doing a twist out today. Y'all remember the song I made up? Let me see if you guys remember the song that I made up. Um, no, Monice, I am not mixed with anything. I am blackity black. Black on black on black. Black on black on black on black on black on black on black. Black, black. Black, 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 black. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I'm not mixed with anything. <laughs> um, my, my mama black, my daddy black. So I guess what that make me? Liggity black. Okay, yeah, so um, I'm just, you know, I, girl, I hope you're not new and I hope you understand and know my personality because you're going to be like, oh, it, it, I'm just playing with y'all, okay? Mm. Okay, so now, um, we're doing a twist out. How many of you all remember my song that I created? I had a jingle for this twist out. And um, 
<laughs> Queen Nisha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all sing it. Black on black on black on black on black on black on black. My skin is black, so black, so black, so black, so black, so black, so black. <laughs> okay, Monisha. See, I'm glad you got a sense of humor. I'm glad you got a personality. Yes. <laughs> um, yes. Okay, who said it? Okay. Uh Loving Andrea 2.0. She remember my song, y'all. She remember my song. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, twist out, popping at the university, ay, the university, ay. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, twist out, popping at the university, ay, the university, ay, the university. Yes, that was my song. So you guys were doing a twist out today. We're doing a twist out. We're doing the twist out. So I put on my story if you had any questions, but some of y'all didn't answer the, I mean, y'all didn't ask y'all questions quick enough. So if you go to the My Yale page um, and ask some questions, uh, we'll be able to answer your questions, okay? Let me fix my hair, how it was before I was playing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna ask the My Yale page all the questions because we are doing things a little different today. Um, blocky block, block on 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 block 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 Listen, don't dis, don't disrespect, man. Don't come on and disrespect me. Uh, okay. All right. So we about to get go. Let me see y'all. Let's see. Let me see live with me. Are you guys gonna go live with me? Let's see. Right, Kay Goody. Come on now. Hi. Hey, y'all. Hi, I miss you guys. You guys are so far away. You guys are so far away. You're just so far away. Yeah. Okay, so I, could, I know I could just feel you. So, thank you for joining us in the office. Thank you, you know, for having office. us. You know, I'm only like the two, two uh, offices down. But I'm so glad you guys are here. And we're about to do this twist out. So, Jatina, I'm going to go ahead and let you introduce yourself. So, just so you guys know, we're going to do it a little different. I know we're in the same building. But, you know, we, we're trying to... Um, you know, be safe and make sure you guys get the full benefits of seeing Jatina and our lovely model, Anna, not Anna, Anna, <laughs> who will be, um, she'll be our model for today. And I wanted to make sure that you guys can clearly see them and see her hair. Jatina is doing a twist out. So she has started and Jatina, I'll let you go ahead and explain. First of all, introduce yourself and explain what you have done to Anna's hair already. Okay. Hey guys, welcome. Thanks for tuning in today. Can you guys hear me okay? Just give give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. <laughs> Monique, Monique says it's a go. Okay. So to, oh, let's first start with who I am. I am Jatina. If you don't know me. Um, better known as J. Renee Styles. I do um, most of the hair for uh, Maya Organics, and I'm very happy to be with you guys today. So today, we are going to show you how to achieve the perfect twist out. Um, I've already started on our beautiful model, Anna, and today I'm going to show you two techniques with one product. And that product is going to be the amazing pomegranate and honey curl mousse. <laughs> so on this side of her head, we did a two-strand twist. And then on the other side, we are doing flat twist. I'm going to explain to you guys the yes, difference. Yes, come closer. Come closer. Okay, yes. Closer than close. Yeah, there we go. Started. So I'm going to explain, explain to you guys the difference and what the results would be, the difference in the results would be 
for each um, technique. And these are- Oh, juicy. Juicy. I like juicy. <laughs> juicy <Okay>. fruit. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> okay. So guys, um as you can see, these are two strand twists over here. Um I did even parting. You don't have to worry about so much about having your parts be perfect. You just want to have consistency in the amount of hair that you use in each section. So the consistency is going to give you the best results later. So you want to make sure you have even amounts of hair in each section. Don't worry if you can't get straight parts. That part isn't important. Necessary, right. No. And then also um, with the two strand twists, if you guys can see, there's a little give at the scalp. This right here um, is not going to give you as much definition as the flat twist the fat the flat twist the hair is pulled tighter and it has tension so you're going to have a little straightening at the root or it's going to actually pull the hair at the root and keep it in place <laughs> so you're going to have more definition <laughs> with the flat twist okay <laughs> I'm just I'm not sure. just Erica Denise, twist. stop it. <laughs> Maybe that's why my twist looks like that. <laughs> okay, so on the back of her head, I'm going to show you guys the technique that I did on the front. I'm going to show you guys in the back. So I just wanted to get a jump start so I can show you guys, you know, what the difference will be like. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to turn her around and good practice i'm gonna start here okay now twist out gonna be popping so we did go ahead and shampoo her hair shampoo and condition her previously and if you guys tuned in last week we did a wash and go with the wash and go you want your hair to be extremely wet like dripping wet yeah with this twist out style it just needs to be damp we don't have to have it extremely wet and this, this style can also be achieved on dry, stretched hair. So if yep. you want a different result, you can just actually stretch your hair and it can be dry and you can use the same pomegranate and honey mousse and get some bomb results. But so today, Patina, let's yeah. talk about why, what's the difference if you do a twist out on soaking wet hair versus like dried and stretched hair? Okay, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend doing it on soaking wet hair because it's gonna take a lot longer to dry. to dry. Yes, because you're gonna use product. It's just gonna take a whole lot longer to dry. You're twi actually twisting the hair around itself. And so that moisture is just gonna be contained. It's gonna be harder to dry. Mm -hmm. um, for the twist that we're doing today, we're doing damp hair. And these twists um, are going to be nice and juicy <laughs> nice and juicy. i'm sorry i'm trying to i'm trying to work and concentrate at the same time um but the difference is the difference is going to be that when you're doing twists or any style on wet or damp hair your hair um your hair expands and it shrinks as it dries yep so when you start on dry stretched hair it's already, it's not going to um, shrink as much. That's already done. Sorry. <laughs> that, that part is already done. So when you're doing it on damp hair like this, you're going to expect some shrinkage and for your hair to expand. Okay, so now the first technique that I'm going to show you guys today. Oh, that's the I'll first be, technique. I'll be your Vanna Black. Okay, yes. The first technique I'm going to show you guys today is a two-strand twist. I like to go ahead and apply the product in the whole section that I'm going to use. I don't want to put a whole lot in here, but I don't want to put too little either. Now, I know you're probably wondering what's, um, what's enough or what amount is the best. 
I don't know how to tell you that. <laughs> it depends on your hair, how much hair you have, how big your sections are. Um, is your hair fine? Is your hair coarse? Is it thick? All those things are going to play a part. Okay, so again, like I said, you want to make sure that you're taking even sections. It doesn't have to be neat, but you just want even sections. So we're going to go ahead and part our hair into even sections. And I just want the same amount of hair in each section. The most important thing in achieving <laughs> a bomb twist out is to make sure each section is detangled. So I'm just going to go in and brush and make sure that there are no tangles. Tangles will create frizz when you take take down your hair. So no tangle zone here. Well, how do you prevent it from being tangled at the end? So what you have to do is make sure that you are detangling before you start. So if it gets, if it starts to get tangled while you're in your process, you have to stop where you are, take your brush or comb or whatever you're using and then brush that section out and then continue. So I'm going to start here with the two so, strands. Yo, so Tina, this is a, you're doing a two strand twist. So what is the difference between just doing a regular twist? Is it just more definition? Um, again, yes. So the two strand twist, um, like I said, it's not going to be as defined as the flat twist. But with the two strand twist, I like to do something that gives you kind of like a coil um, or a corkscrew effect. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the hair and I'm twisting it, I'm twisting my wrist as I twist the hair around the other hair. So if that makes sense. Yes. Get... So two strand twist is something that I have not mastered because I don't think that I have the flick of the wrist the right way. Um, so I'm still learning how to do the two strand twists. I ended up, I end up just braiding my hair. I tried it before and it comes out a hot diggity dog on <laughs> mess. Um, so, wow. and flat twist, I have not tried, but Jatina, I want you to try, I want to try a flat twist with you. I'm going to let you do it. I'm not going to okay. do it myself. Okay. Yes. And so, um, for beginners, like if you haven't done a twist out at all, I'll be honest. The two strand twist is going to be easiest, um, especially if you're not good at connecting the hair to the scalp. Um, that it's going to be the flat twist, um, they kind of emulate a, a corn roll. So you're going to be actually twisting the hair on scalp. The two strand twist is off scalp. I like to um, take the hair around the um, the hair at the ends around my finger just to create a coil and just seal that twist so it doesn't come down. Um, if we have any transitioning people on here, this style is a good style for transitioning because it kind of seamlessly will blend the two textures together. Right. And so when you have transitioning hair, that's the most important thing. You want to build the texture or add the texture into the hair instead of removing it. A lot of people that are transitioning um, opt for silk presses and things like that because it blends the hair or makes it look seamless. But when you're going curly or natural, you want to you know, incorporate curly and natural styles. So you just want to kind of build that texture into the hair instead of removing it and taking it out of the hair. So Jacina, yes. <clears throat> now I know I have said this several times, but I want them to hear it from your mouth. Okay. Because you are a professional hairstylist. I am a professional, but not a hairstylist. But yes. I know how to do some hair if I need to. Okay. Yes, you can. You still y'all did my hair today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I'm serious. Um, so can you explain why you are only using? one product okay today i'm only using one product and that product of choice is the um 
the pomegranate honey mousse. And I'm using this one product because actually everything that we need is built into this product. It has conditioning agents. It has everything that your hair needs in this one product. So you don't need to layer on all those products. Told y'all. Told. This product is so moisturizing that you only need one. And sometimes I will still add this to, a, even if I have product on my hair, because it's just that great and moisturizing. Like your hair, like our hair can never get enough. So <clears throat> you only need one product, y'all. You don't need to add any layers because it's just that moisturizing. It say is. it again for the people in the back. What? It's so I said, moisturizing. It's just that moisturizing. Did y'all hear me back there? For real? It's moisturizing, okay? Okay, finish. You can continue. <laughs> okay, and so um, I am going to do one more row, this last row of two strand twists. Hopefully, you guys can see well and you're following along. You're having a good time. I'm having a good time. They always have a good time when they're at the Mayo University. Yes. And if you are not having a good time, then <laughs> you're playing. Yeah, I said it. Because we be having fun over here. Our lives be lit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we always have fun. <laughs> okay, again, guys. So I started the parting. I'm going to go in and detangle now to make sure that we don't have any tangles at the end. Look how that brush just glides through her hair. Yes, with this one product. Listen, I be trying to tell y'all, I don't be playing no games when it comes to these products. That brush is gliding through her hair. Have and you, you guys... did not detangle her hair before, right? This is your first time combing so, it out? Um, when we shampooed her hair, we did. We detangled it um, with the conditioner. That's no, I mean, like, time. outside, before you started combing it, like, you did not no, comb it no through. No, ma'am. Right? I just took it, parted it, and then detangled it now. And then yes. this is the result of that. So if we were doing a wash and go, you guys could see that her hair is already starting to react to the product. It would be amazing. She, Jatina is using the pomegranate honey curl mousse. What is your model's hair type? Um, she is a type 3C4A. She, her hair is actually... The curls are actually tighter in the back than they are in the front. And I had a discussion with her <laughs> prior to this live, and she's going to do some things different. So I'm not sure how many of you guys know that when you slick your hair back all the time, really, really slick, you can get something that's kind of, that's called like tension damage. And so what happens is um, mm. if you're brushing your hair while it's wet, and um, you're smoothing it out and then you tie it up, you're, you're creating, like, you're straightening your hair. So yep. you're creating, like, a smooth effect. That, if you do that too often, all the time, if that's your go-to, you can lose your curl pattern in the middle. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the, wherever you're doing that. It kind of um, just moves your curl pattern or loosens it out. And so I believe that's what has happened with our little model here today. Um, <laughs> she doesn't straighten her hair often, so it doesn't appear to be heat damage, but it might just be a little bit of tension. Um, yeah. She wears, she says she wears buns all the time. Yeah. She likes I that. Say, like, I have that as well. That's why my curls, you know, my curls are looser in the front, Jatina. Yep. Um, but I do wear buns a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, as you see, my hair is also slicked back today. So I do try to like switch up my styles. So I'm avoiding tension like that. But yeah. I bet I didn't know that, huh? Yeah, I thought the heat damage was the only thing that can change your curl pattern. So if you notice that when you take your hair down, like if you had a bun for like a couple of days or a week, that is real, is straight and you didn't even put heat on it. Like the yeah. live, I mean, not the live, the reel that I just posted, you can tell that like from my hair being in the bun, how the front was straight, but the back was curly because my hair was in a bun for the whole week. Yeah. But it's not like, super damage into my curl pattern but my curl pattern is a lot looser in the front and much tighter in the back so nugget for y'all today yep perfect it that's that's exactly right so um you guys just want to be careful and the, the best way to if you're going to pull your hair up 
I know we like it looking perfect and all that, but if you want to pull your hair up, one, don't do it while it's wet. Yeah. Um, just kind of like not dripping wet. Like when you shampoo it and then um, condition it, don't brush it and just put it up while it's wet. You want to make sure your hair is a little dry. Let your curls come in Pink and then just kind of sweep them up. Mm -hmm. um, and then that'll help. Yep. Yep. So and so now, know, just gonna, oh, yeah, go ahead. Is some of her hair already dry? Yeah. So we tr I tried to uh, get a good head start so that I can show you guys the right. front um, at the end of this live. So okay. I'm going to see. She, she didn't get a chance to dry a long time. I'm sure that the flat twist part, they won't be dry. But a couple of the two-strand twists may be dry that I could take okay. one down and show you guys how to separate it and show you what the effect, um, the, effect the end result will be. So you're going to take it down on here. So you That's guys... the plan. Wait, say that again? That's the plan, yes. Okay. She didn't get to I'm sorry, very guys. Somebody long. keep knocking at our door. Okay. I don't talk to strangers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, gotta always be alert. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, so you have to, so you're gonna take it down. So make sure you guys stay tuned for when she takes down the front because I want you guys to see how to take down your twist down. And Jatina's gonna walk you through. Um, how you take down your hair to apply so you can avoid frizz. But okay. hey, y'all. Okay, so this is the end of our demonstration for the two-strand twist. Yeah. You guys like how that's looking? If you guys noticed, like when I first did the twist, they were really, really tight and thin. And like I said, your hair shrinks and it expands as it dries. So these curls are going to get, these twists are going to get shorter, but wider and fatter. So if you notice, that's already starting to happen. If you could bring the camera a little closer, yes. There we go. Ooh, and do you guys see the shine? Yes. And that's what I was saying, one product. It's moisturized, it's shiny, it's healthy, it smells amazing. You guys, you have to get some. Who is using this pomegranate honey mousse already? Give us Me? some hearts if you're using it. Yes, I see those hearts. <laughs> okay, so for this last section, guys, I'm going to demonstrate um, how to do the flat twist. Yes, just I'm excited about this. Yes. So, Only because um, flat twist, I mean, not the flat twist, the two-strand twist, I think it would take me like 10 years to do my hair. Yeah, it would take a long time on me. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't even think I have the patience so um, I'm really interested to see this flat twist and how what's your technique? Because as I told you guys, it's all about using, what were the three things that I talked about, you guys? Expectations, technique, and using the right products, right? Yeah. So manage your expectations. Do not expect your twist out to turn out like Anna's twist out specifically if your hair yeah. is a type 4C. You'll still get the definition, you'll still get the moisture, but you have to know how your hair texture is and manage it accordingly, Perfect. right? And then you have to make sure that you're using the proper technique. And so that's why Justina is here to show you guys the proper technique. Because if your technique is off, you can just throw the whole style away. Your style is not going to come out right because you have the wrong technique. So that's why I hope that you guys are here taking notes so you guys will have the right technique. And I have done several lives showing you guys different techniques and different ways to style your hair and different ways to use our products. And I use, of course, myself to demonstrate. And I figured that I would use other people because a part of our testing phase, when we test product, everybody in the office tests our products before it goes out on the shelf. So why not use um, people that are already here that have different hair textures than myself and we can show you how to use the products on all the different hair textures that are in our office. And of course, it's not going to be the live at seven o'clock because I do like to let people enjoy time with their families and go home and eat dinner. You know, I'm probably the only crazy one that's like, come on, y'all, let's go live at seven o'clock. 
No, but um, so that's why we have to do it during lunchtime because I want you guys to see the different textures in our office and to see how the products work on different textures and to make sure that you guys are using the right techniques. So it's not just me. Um, it's not just me showing you how to use the products on my hair, but also showing you that the products work on several different textures of hair. We do not create products that are made for one texture. We create products that are for type two, type three, type four. And we use the, the, the typing, the curl typing as a reference point, but all of our products work on several different hair types. And that's the reason why we are doing these lives a little earlier. So you guys can get a chance to see everyone and see how the products work. So um, please make sure that you guys are paying attention and you are taking notes because I know I've done several lives and, you know, some of the questions are still asked. I know that everybody doesn't see the lives. So we want to make sure that we are giving you as much information so you can properly use the product. Because a lot of times people get frustrated. They get disappointed when their hairstyles don't turn out, turn out right. And it's not even the products. It's the way that they are using the products on their hair. So you got to know like your porosity. You got to know your hair type. And then you can choose products based on that and then have the right technique. And then boom, <laughs> your twist out, going to be popping. Your twist out, popping. Don't be popping. Your wash and go, it's going to be popping. Your hair, it's going to be popping. Hey. When you have to <laughs> go ahead, Anna. Okay, guys. Okay, so if you go remember, ahead, um, um, if you remember at the bottom with the two strand twist, I added the um, I added the product across the whole section before I did it. With the um, flat twist, the section would be too big. It would be this entire section. So I'm not going to add the product to the entire section. I'm going to add the product to each section that I'm going to actually twist. So, so that would be the difference when you're applying your product ver um, for your two-strand twist versus your flat twist. So I've already sectioned it off. Um, her hair is still damp. I don't know if you guys saw, I added a little bit, a little mist of water. I don't want it too wet. But again, I'm just going to go in and apply the product, make sure that I'm getting it at the root. And then you can see it applies really, really nice. She's using the pomegranate and honey curly mousse. Yep. Are you guys after you got your product in, you just want to go ahead and detangle. Make sure that there are no tangles because again, tangles produce spreads in your end result. Okay, so with the uh, flat twist, it's going to be similar to doing a corn roll. This hair is going to be attached to the scalp all the way to the end. And then once I get to the end, I will create a two-strand twist again um, mm -hmm. once I get to the hair that is no longer attached. So, and there are several different ways to do this. I'm going to show you my way, how I do my twist, <laughs> my two-strand twist. My or way. these are my flat twists. My you can way. hold your hair back just a little bit. My all right. Secret. So I take a small section and then I separate it into two like that. And then I just start to twist. I grab, so you're picking up hair and grabbing it as you go down. Yeah. I'm not sure if. We'll do a better closer look after this one. Yeah. I'm not sure if you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. But that is how it's done. Can you see Monique? Yes, closer than close. <laughs> Let's get closer and closer and closer. If you guys notice that I'm trying to Keep the hair detangled with my fingers as I go down. Okay, now I've gotten to the end of the scalp. I'm going to take this hair around here and hold it. Okay. What I want to do now is make sure that my ends are detangled because I've manipulated the hair. So I want to make sure that the ends are detangled and they are. Yes. 
I'm going to add just a little bit of water to the end because at the end I'm going to finger coil that around my finger. Okay. How can we get so, it clearer, um, Karen? Is it better now? Um, it's clear on my end, Monique. Yeah, it's we clear. Uh, oh, it's clear. Okay, maybe it's me. Again, with the two strand twist. <laughs> I'm twisting. Okay. My wrist. Somebody was like, I was like, why are you so still, but you watching the hair? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I was. <laughs> that was yeah. Good. Okay. So we're, gonna, we're gonna flip the screen. So if you guys can just give us one second. Tap the camera. It's okay. It's blurry. Okay now. We need you to unblur. Okay. <laughs> We're trying to see some things. Is that better? Um, it is still blurry. I'm not it might be blurry on some um someone's else computer, but it looks very clear on ours. Okay. It had a look on yours. Oh. Oh. Tell them to leave. So guys, I am um, continuing along the process. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing, but I've moved on oh. to the next section now. And I'm going to take the same step. Do you, what, do you see what they do? Tell them to stop. Okay, sorry you guys. I didn't know Comcast was here. So oh, whatever they doing, I just and they stop it. Cause uh we trying to do a live here. We got trying and they to be all up in here messing up my stuff. <laughs> okay. Stop it, Comcast. We'll wait. <laughs> you ain't got nothing that important to do right now. This is important. This is important, okay? It's clearing up now. Good. I believe. How is it on you guys' end? It looks really good over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I can hold your head back just a little. The top is clear at the bottom. If it's still blurry, I'm a, I'll am come out and then let you guys. Wait. Wait, I'm on my page, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to join us, Monique, you can. Okay, I'm gonna see if Nolita told them to stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they're doing. It will get blurry when you start That's doing the, the part. Twist. Wow. I hate that, guys. Sorry. We have two more left, so hopefully. Because I really, I really want to. I want it to be clear, especially when you start taking it down. Yes. So the motion that I'm doing when I'm doing this, I'm just detangling it as I go along so you don't get those tangles. Especially the longer the hair is, the more tangled that will get. And you want to um, avoid that or prevent that before it lock locks up on you because that can't happen. Okay. Oh, it's clear. She must have told them stop. <laughs> is it clear on you on on you guys' end? It is. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Nolita. I knew Nolita would handle it. <laughs> Go no no. Go no no. Go no no. Go no no. <laughs> what, what'd you tell them? Oh, they said they ain't doing nothing. Oh, they not. Oh, okay. Because it it literally just cleared up. Okay. I was like, okay, I do know little <laughs> <take care." laughs> Okay. All right. I'm excited yeah, for what this is gonna be like at the end. This is about yeah. to be done. Okay, so we have two twists. Two twists left. 
Is it still clear for you guys? Mm. Kind of not really. No. Okay, we gonna we we gonna wait because I'm gonna need y'all to see how they do these flat twists. Okay, so how does it look on your end? Is it clear enough? Does it look like it's clear enough? It keeps going in and out like yeah. I get clear shots and now it's back blue. You at Pet Smart, Charmaine. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think it's clearing up. Focus. Focus. Instagram Live. Focus. Okay. So I'm just kind of finger detangling her hair. Because it's starting to dry making sure it doesn't dry with any tangles in there. Now can you sit under um can you sit under the dryer after you do this style? Yes, that's what we're gonna do today. Um you can do either or you can sit under the dryer or you can air dry. Okay. And it like, just depends that, on what you have okay. time for. Okay. This is a hairstyle like you can actually go outside and not look crazy. Exactly. So this can couple as, so right now what we're doing is actually called a twist in. And then once we're done and we take it down and it's dry, that's what it, that's when it becomes a twist out. So you can actually wear this style. Twist out. Twist in. Yep. <laughs> twist in. Twist out. Twist in. Twist out. Twist in. Twist in. Twist in, twist out. Twist in, twist out. Come on, Alita, I know you got some steps over there. <laughs> That's that HBCU uh, marching band. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see. Yes, it's going to look so good, girl. You're going to so need to, your hubby to take you out tonight. Did I just say that? I like, literally just told her that. Yes. That's so funny. So, hubby, if you listening, I'm going to need you to start getting some something girl. together. Yeah, hubby, you awesome. cut to Red Lobster tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. She gonna now order some lobster and some shrimp Alfredo, <laughs> oh, tail, and she might order a little margarita. You know, you know what that uh -oh. means, Bubby. <laughs> Jatina, what's the best results for this look? Air dry or under the dryer? Actually, um, both. You'll get the same results. The results don't really matter so much. Somebody said the the, the, <laughs> the, the results um depend on the technique and putting it in. So uh, y'all are hilarious. However you choose to dry it, it's gonna be the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we have one left. And remember when um, Monique was saying that you can wear this style out, even if you don't do like neat parts, it's still a bomb style. So don't worry about the parting. I'm able to do the parting like this because I'm standing over her head. When you're doing it yourself, you may not get your parts like that. So don't <laughs> let the parts um, discourage you because it's really not about the parts. The parts don't really um, affect the results as much unless they're just too big, like you got one this size and then you got one this size. So that's all you want to worry about. Not really the parts being neat or perfect. <laughs> you don't have I'm to be afraid. Like a race car track. <laughs> yep. And to be honest, um, messy parts actually help with when you take it down. Mm -hmm. So yeah, go ahead and get messy, y'all. Get, oh, you ain't got to tell me twice. <laughs> Get messy, get messy, get messy, get messy. Yes. Girl, you uh, be so cute, Anna. You could do the busted challenge. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only with hubby's permission. 
you can't be busting anything, right? You know, you're gonna have to do your you gonna have to do the holy rendition of the Buster Challenge. Hey, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with y'all. I cannot. <laughs> right, she's gonna be busting it for the hubby at Red Lobster. Mm, right? Biscuits. <laughs> Biscuits. <laughs> Biscuits. <laughs> right, busting for the Bible. That's all we gonna be <laughs> You guys, um, if you noticed, um, these flat twists were done prior to the live. It's the same head of hair, the same amount of sections. But remember when I told you the hair will shrink and expand? So that's yes. what will happen. You can see the difference from here to here. And this is what you should expect. Yep. But still juicy. Still juicy. <laughs> juicy fruit. If you were doing the style and um, you were transitioning, um, your hair would be straight on the ends. This, this is the part where you will add like a rod or a flexi rod at the end to keep the hair together. That's if you were transitioning. Or even, oh, wait, even repeat if you're that. I want, I want to make sure people get that. What'd you say? Okay. Just, was okay. <laughs> What I said was, if you were doing this on a transitioning hairstyle at the end here, once you got to the end, instead of doing the coil, this is where you would add like a flexi rod or a perm rod, um, just because your ends would be straight. So that's yeah. where you would add that to add the texture. Um, or even if you did, even if you're not transitioning, even if you're fully natural and your curl pattern is great, and you just want to add a little bit more curl to it, you can add. Go ahead and add that in at this yes. point. So okay. we have completed the entire head. I did just go ahead and do two separate looks so I can show you guys um, how to do that. But this is what we have. If you have any questions, you can drop them below and we'll get started with answering them. Yes. And you guys can see what <laughs> I was saying about the, um, the at the roots of your two strand twist so this is going to give you a lot more volume in your two strand twist but not so much definition at the scalp the yeah. um, flat twists are tighter and so you'll have more definition at the root as well looks good girl let me see you walk 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 <laughs> walk girl you gonna be doing a walk the busted challenge what is <laughs> going on can you repeat her hair type and the products that you use? Yes. So she um, is kind of like a 3C in the front, 4A in the back. She, um, her hair is a lot smoother and looser in the front than it is in the back. And I am using the wonderful pomegranate and honey curl defining mousse with hold. <laughs> Will she air dry or sit under the dryer? She's going to sit under the dryer today. All right. Is there any tips you would like to give us or anything else? Um, I gave most of the tips that I had. Um, when you're doing your edges, always <laughs> do that last. So I'm going to go ahead with the... Um, oh, I'm going to use... I do have new, another question. Okay. What should you do with the heat damage ends? With the heat damage ends, um, the same thing. That's where you would go in and you would use a perm rod or either a flexi rod to go ahead and just set the, set the curls at the end. So that's what you would do. So just add that texture right in. And you would do that. This is a great um, style for transitioning hair. Now, how long yeah. does she leave the twist in her hair? And that's the preference. So if she wants to rock it like this, she can leave it in for as long as she wants. Um, if she has somewhere to go tonight, like this date that we're hyping up for her, we need to take these out so she can be banging on her day. Um, so I want to, the goal is to be able to show you guys one of these, um, to take it down and show you what it looks like. She's still a little damp, so I'm going to sit her under the dryer for like maybe five minutes, and then maybe we can do some questions, or Monique can make a song, we can dance, I don't know. 
But if we got five minutes. You know, minutes, I'm always down for karaoke. <laughs> if we have five minutes, then I can go ahead and let her dry this a little bit more. I'll take down one so you can see the takedown process. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do the takedown of the flat twist on live because it's going to take a lot longer for those to dry um, because of the way that the hair is connected. These are a lot thinner, and so they're going to dry quicker. But I will take down one of these, and then I'll show you guys how to do her, do the edges before we get so, up. Okay, so if her hair dries, so her hair should dry today, right? So can we just do a video? Will you yeah. take down all of her hair today? I will take it out all today, and then, um, yes, you guys will be able to see the results. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. You guys will be able to see the results um, between today and tomorrow. So you have to stay tuned. Turn on your notifications. Stay with us. Be in the loop. Don't get out of the loop. Don't get lost in the sauce. <laughs> I'm going to right now go over here and put her under the dryer. And I do want to, um, I know Karen asked if we wanted to share any tips. I do have a tip for you guys. I want to caution you that when you use this product and you do your twist out the way that Jatina recommended, that um, just beware, people are gonna be hating on your hair, okay? <laughs> they're not gonna like it, you know, they're gonna be mad because they use some crappy products and they twist <laughs> out don't look like yours, look. So I just wanna caution you that um, your hair is going to look really good and it may cause a little jealousy and envy, but you know, that's right. All you got to do is just give them a sample. Say, here, girl, I know you're mad. Didn't, they didn't tune into this live and get the tips y'all got because... Exactly. I know. The it's the my year five. They, use, they don't offer these lives with these, you know, tips for you guys. Yes. Yes. So I'm going to just tell y'all, like, caution, y'all going to be looking super extra good. Y'all may go home to y'all significant others and y'all husbands. He ain't going to be able to keep his hands off of you. Because he gonna, your hair gonna be smelling good, your hair gonna be looking good, and he just gonna be going to grab everything, and you gonna have to just tell him like, down boy, down, <laughs> down. <laughs> I won't <laughs> oh, I was telling her, I was cautioning them, saying that like if they go home, like their husbands may be trying to attack them because their hair look really good and their hair smell good. So you just not have to tell your husband like, calm down, like get off me, get off me. <laughs> Did you we'll use have any other products before you use the mousse? Absolutely not. We just use the shampoo and the conditioner, and the mousse was the only thing we used. Period. Who? Period. That's on there. That's a lamb. Um, <clears throat> so what are you going to do her edges with? Are you using the Palm and Honey Edge Gel? Yes, I'm excited. We're going to use the <laughs> Alex said, attack me, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Alex. Alex. <laughs> Alex. Well, Alex, you better come in here and get your hair done. You already have been attacked. So, uh, I, was just, I didn't want to be here. <laughs> Alex, you cannot be attacked twice, okay? <laughs> just so y'all know, Alex, well, wait, never mind. I'm going to let her tell y'all herself. I ain't going to tell you my business, you know? Oh, well, she didn't already said it. She's already pregnant, so she can't be attacked twice, okay? She she came home with palm and honey in her head and her husband and got her. He got her good. He got her, he got her real good. She Did you use the palm and honey leave-in conditioner? No. Nothing. I did not use the pomegranate honey leave-in conditioner today. So I'm going to just caution y'all. The um, mousse had enough conditioning in there, so it's going to be perfect. Oh, Anna too. Anna too. She on here too. You know, you done been attacked too. <laughs> so, I'm going to caution y'all. Anything that happens after you go home using my own products, I am not responsible for. Okay? Right. I'm not responsible for your husband and your significant other climbing on all over you. I'm not responsible for girls being jealous of your hair. I'm just not. Okay? Take me out of the equation. All I do is create great products. <laughs> I'm committed to that. Anything else after that, I'm done. Okay. Any other questions? <laughs> oh, is that five minutes? Well, it wasn't five minutes, but I want to do I want to do her edges right now. I'm not sure how much okay. time we have left. I'm gonna do her edges right now. 
Ooh, and ooh, Allison, uh -oh. put something on you, Anna. She said you' about to get attacked now. <laughs> Baby number two. Oh no no no. <laughs> Just Erica Denise, you better stop, girl. She, <laughs> I'm about to kick you off this live. <laughs> you do want to um make sure that when once you do this part, it is at the end. Um, I am wearing see. Ruby Root. I'm wearing Ruby by Mac. I think that's what it's called, right? Ruby Red, something like that. Ruby I've had Root. it for forever. Yeah, Ruby Ru Ruby Woo. That's what the lipstick is called? Yep. Okay, that's what I have on. Ruby Woo. That's a tongue twister. It is. But okay. we're not going to do anything and extravagant, but we just want to make sure they're laying down and looking fabulous. Jatina, if you don't feel like her hair is fully dry, I'd rather you take it down, like let it dry, and then we'll just do like a reel afterwards. Yeah, and make that, that's that's what's going to happen because it's not it's not but no it's not completely dry so that's the other thing guys when you're doing this style or any of these wet sets you can't rush the process like you right. have to just go with it if you're getting too excited and you take it down while it's wet you're going to have frizz and you're going to have a fail so you're going to have an f and an f you don't want that <laughs> y'all want to be popping so just take your Wait, time what's the call what's the call an F and the F, frizz and fail. Oh, frizzy we don't want hair F. and a failed hairstyle. You don't want to do that. So we're just gonna take our time and let it let it um, be done the right way, and then we'll show you guys later the end results. <laughs> so. I was gonna ask a question. And so when you do when we do the takedown, we could just do a reel and you can record it like how to properly take down? Yes. Using the oil. Okay. Yep, and we can talk about that a little bit right now. So in the takedown process, you definitely want to make sure number one, your hair is completely dry, like we said. And then you want to use some oil also on your hands to prevent to prevent any frizz. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes I take the oil on my hands, I rub it through, and then I I take it down each twist and section like this, just to make sure that the oil goes throughout the strand. And so then when you take Good. them, yeah, when you take them down, you want to mimic the opposite direction of whatever you did to put them in. So when I did these, um, twists, these flat twists. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys something. So when doing flat twists too, um, these are good when you want to create directional styles. So I wanted to have this hair come over to the side and I also wanted to frame her face. So I did these twists to the side and I did them forward to frame her face. So remember that when you're doing your flat twist. If I wanted to have all of the hair come over to the side, if I wasn't showing you guys how to do um, the two strand twist on the side, if I wanted to have like a swept over effect, I could just do all these twists coming mm -hmm. over in this direction. And so flat twists are good for directional styles or adding the direction in the hair, if that makes sense to you guys. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Great, great, great. Yeah. So, so now can you... Um, so I know you're just doing this for the uh, tutorial, but can you usually do a mixture of flat twists and two strand twists? It will the style feel yeah. good. Yep, I do it all the time, depending on what I, you know, what look I'm looking for. Okay. So yeah, I do uh, mix them together, and it works well. So I wonder. So how about what we got scheduled for next Monday? What hairstyle are we, are, are we doing? Do you know? Right now, so it's getting right down. Oh, she did. Edges. Oh, because I want to do a flat twist, but we already didn't do one. Because I've never done a flat twist on my hair, so I was thinking 
Should we do a flat twist on my hair next Monday? Are you asking me or are you asking the audience? <laughs> I don't, I'm actually just talking out loud. <laughs> okay. I'm just talking, I'm talking out loud. I'm down, for, I'm down for whatever, whatever the people want to see. Get the people what they want. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, we, we, we are, we will go, we will go and huddle, because I really do want a flat twist, I want to see how that's going to look. It's going to look bomb. Oh, I know it's going to look bomb, you know, <laughs> I got great products. That's right. I'm just saying, I, I just want to, I just want to yeah. see a different look, I want to see how you do it, Jatina, because I don't have the patience to do it. Monique, you have the most patience of anybody I know. I, you, I've seen you do some stuff and be very patient. Yeah, I'm not patient with myself though. You do your, you, you've done your whole wash and go online and it took two hours of live time and did it. And was entertaining at the same time. I think that's phenomenal. I know, God gives me the strength. Only do it. But I still, I still don't want to do a flat twist, Jatina. You're not getting out of this. <laughs> okay. You're still gonna <laughs> Bantu. Who wants to do a Bantu knot? Oh, that was really cute. Oh, I want to try that too. <laughs> okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna take up all the hairstyles. <laughs> um, but I think we could do a Bantu. Yeah, my Bantu show you guys one more like, thing. My Bantus will look like fist. You guys see how these new ones have started to expand? Yes, this is a wash and go, y'all. Yeah, um, these are getting fatter than they were when we first did them. So they're starting to expand, which is great. I'm excited. I can't wait to take this down and show you guys the end results. Y'all yes. not going to know who she is, y'all. Girl, I ain't gonna, she ain't going to know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> So she about to go to Red Lobster to eat them biscuits, <laughs> like uh, Bella Street said. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so make sure you guys are also joining in on our Type 4 Challenge, okay? I hope you guys are uploading your videos. I've been seeing y'all videos, and y'all been killing the game out there, okay? Y'all been doing really good. So the winner of this Type 4 Challenge will receive three months' supply of my Yale products okay and I cannot wait to see who will win how many winners are we doing hmm. you know we can always increase if you're in the mood oh well we can always increase <laughs> if I'm in the mood I don't know if I'm in the mood yet but I'll let you guys know <laughs> there will be winners or a winner <laughs> um so you must upload a video and make sure that in the video, you start your video off by saying, I love my type four hair because, and then you can do whatever it is. But make sure you show personality. Don't be afraid to be silly. Get silly. Get silly. Get silly. Y'all remember that song? What happened to him? <laughs> oh, we don't know. <laughs> um, so make sure you upload your video. Um, show personality. You all know that we love personality here at the Mayo. We don't walk around like this <laughs> with sticks up our butt all day, okay? We don't walk around <laughs> like this, okay? We got personality here at the Mayo headquarters. We got personality here at the Mayo University. So if you are uploading a video that has to do with Mayo, you better bring it. You better get <laughs> your ass and forth, okay? <laughs> Listen. What did she do? Oh, uh, no, Leah said you better shake a tail feather. Tell us how to do it. Tell us how to do it. Tell us how to do it. So, my point is <laughs> that <laughs> you must have personality to win this contest. Okay. Okay. And the challenge will end on January 29th. So you better. <laughs> you better 
gotta <laughs> turn on up and upload this video because you gonna get a, a three month supply of Mayo products. Free products, y'all. Free products. And depending on what mood I'm in, or what mood Nolita or or Anna or Tina <laughs> or Karen, Anna, I said Anna already. Whatever mood they're in, we may pick other winners. So you must use the hashtag my type for oh she put it right there see my type for hair okay so jerlicia you have type for hair so you can do it as well um so i'm excited you guys i'm super super excited okay okay, okay. um so yeah y'all join in on the my i love my type for hair challenge okay because our Plum and Honey collection is the bomb, diggity.com, because it is formulated especially for our type 4 consumers. If you haven't tried it and you're type 4 hair, you are a lame. <laughs> yep, I said it. I said it. I said it. And the reason why you are a lame is because you are missing out on good products for your health. So that's why ain't nobody hating on you. That's why ain't nobody trying to check you. Okay. Because you ain't using the right products for your hair. Start using the right products and people gonna start checking for you. That date that you've been trying to get, that boy that you've been texting, he ain't been texting you back. Use this pomegranate honey and watch he text you back. And when he texts you back, tell him to take you to Red Lobster. Message. When your twist out good, he better take you to Red Lobster. <laughs> so you can eat them biscuits and order everything on the menu, okay? So use this product and watch your text message gonna start blowing up and then you gonna tell him, listen, I ain't got time because I'm going to get my hair done. Now you're gonna be getting your hair done every week because now you done found the product that works for your hair. You done found the product that works for your hair and you gonna fall in love and now you're gonna be going to the shop every week or you're gonna be doing your hair every week because now you done fell in love with the product. You ain't got time for him no more. You ain't gonna, you ain't gotta love him because you gonna love these products. And that's why Mary had a little lamb. Period. Okay, guys. Bye. <laughs> Are y'all logging off? Oh, okay. Y'all logged oh, Okay, yes. bye-bye. Yes, okay, so we'll be back. Thanks, guys. And y'all can see the notes. Okay, see y'all. Bye. I mean, I'm going to just walk over there and say bye to y'all for real. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. I'm still on live. <laughs> All right, y'all. Okay. Uh, okay, I was reading something. Okay, so if you did not get your questions answered, just please still type them in the comment box. Huh? Make sure you save it. Oh, I am. I am. Um, I will save this live. It's going to be on my page. Um, make sure you just type your comments or your questions because it's still on my story and the Mayo team. We are going to make sure that we answer your questions. But yeah, this was fun, y'all. This was fun, but make sure you guys get your Mayo products. They are on sale right now, okay? Don't say I didn't warn you. I already gave y'all the warnings, okay? So you can't say I didn't tell you. But I hope you guys have fun because I have fun. I always have fun on my lives, okay? I hope you guys have a great Monday and be very blessed, okay? All right, bye-bye.